Hello there, this is Good Guy Palps, and I <clears throat> just realized something that I want to show you. And obviously we are the English Empire, we're conquering, it's awesome, and we're spreading out our empire, and the world is massive, and historical speed, and some other mods. But I just realized, I, I think I had misunderstood one of these bonuses. Um, <clears throat> specifically, we get plus four of, sorry, sorry, let me just restart. Buildings that provide additional yields when powered receive plus four of that yield. So the for example our campuses though we didn't get that uh great person we wanted if we look at a university um they just provide the plus four but if we look at a research center research lab plus five when powered it's actually going to be plus nine when powered so we're definitely going to be a powerful late game um, to really kind of pump through extra science. So we're going to want to make sure we have all those buildings and make sure we have everything powered, obviously, and have enough power. And we're definitely going to need coal. So our long-term goal, right now we're getting ready to take Geneva, and then maybe we'll invade Germany and kind of take them out. But as soon as we can get across oceans, I think our goal is to maybe launch a large invasion of someone coastal, and either that's going to be the Norway, which is tempting, they're going to be pretty much eliminated soon enough no matter what it looks like or we could maybe go for egypt or greece or which would be really fun someone like the aztecs but we can't see their cities so it's hard to tell um, with that in mind let's go ahead and move forward we're also going to need to secure coal and oil um, to get that power so sieves that have a lot of that will become targets as well um Okay, now for reals next turn. All right, so they move their troops in here to block us. So it's actually a good thing we put this swords in here. And with this city f falling, it looks like Norway declared war on Germany. Europe, man, is just filled with war. How fun. Go back to the aqueduct, give it a 20% boost, and go back to the armory. Got a builder here, let's go ahead and send that builder. Just double checking to make sure nothing was pillaged. Let's send that builder this direction. Actually right here, right there is a great spot first. So this swordsman alone, I don't think can take the city with them healing. In Germany, or I mean, I don't really want to go to war with Greece right now. They have a large enough military to be annoying. However, it, oh, what the, it might be worth it to go to war with them if we can defeat them. I did not mean to move that guy. That was really annoying. Okay, with the new technol or new government, we can now finally get some buildings. I think a Grand Master's Chapel allows the ability to buy land units with faith. That is good. The alternative would be to spend our faith on great people, but that's so expensive, it's going to be much more valuable to use it on soldiers. An intelligence agency would be good. And foreign ministry is not bad. But I think the Grand Master's Chapel is going to be the best thing um, for because of those dumb holy sites we built. With that in mind, let's go ahead and get the... Let's go ahead and, we have all the gold. Let's just purchase a lighthouse and a trader. Let's do it here in the, let's do it in Paris. And then let's go ahead and just start building a campus. And before I do that, let's swap right there. So we can build the campus right here. The alternative actually would be to do an industrial zone there because of the mines. There'd be four mines giving it an eventual plus two, or even three, but it should be powered by this, two, three, four, five. So I think we're fine to not do an industrial zone there. Let's do the campus instead. Really bummed I moved that guy over. Um, with them rebelling and becoming a free city though, maybe that will distract Greece enough that we can uh, Get Geneva. Uh, 
we'd want to get Frankfurt first if we decide to go to war with uh, Germany, which we there's a good chance we're going to just because it's gives us the potential for more growth. And growth is significantly more important in this mode than in some other modes where you can't do much. Cincinnati, Cincinnati on the tip of Florida, looks like. Let's go get into the water. Again, and see some of the Caribbean. Never again Ooh, Crater Lake. can I gaze upon the... Beautiful. And where's our scout? What are they doing? Not much, but we can continue to explore, so. Next turn, got some units that need orders again. Yeah, let's go into the ocean. Into, oh, oh, I want, I want that guy. I'll go to war with Norway again if we get that free settler, just because. And we should have another builder coming this direction, yep. Right there. Okay, we're doing really good. After this turn, I might just take a moment and make sure that all the cities that need to be that should be focused on food are, and the ones that aren't. Well, I'll just make sure they're all in order, so. He wants Niter, and not gonna happen. We're gonna hold on to our Niter for now. He wants pearls for four gold total. Again, not gonna happen. We need a lot of builders down here. We've been sending them this direction, but the more builders we build, we should send them down to this area. Oh yeah, my troops are merely passing by, I swear. We get that new trader, which we already purchased, so... Actually, you know what? Let's send the trader here to Harlem. Let's grow this city and get some growth here. And then let's remember to get our builders down here to repair this, get some improvements in this region that's who needs it the most. Okay, that is ridiculous that they built this city here. It's like the dumbest place they could have ever built a city, and it's going to rebel. And with it, we're just going to probably raise it because it doesn't give us any value here. There's no niter, and maybe there'd be uranium or something, or oil. But, I can't know that, and it's not worth holding on to until we know. Okay. Um, hmm, medieval walls here would be pretty good, actually, especially while we have the limes in. I, th I think I'm gonna grab that real fast. It'll increase our defenses in both these cities. And with this city kind of being on the frontier, it's probably worth getting. Uh, we completed the builder in Paris, so let's get that builder. I said to go south. I thought I sent a builder here already. I must not have. I would like to get that chopped out real fast and get medieval walls here. Actually, let's get one more builder here first. Okay, now we can... Let's just put our catapult here for now. It'll level up to hit Geneva. They are gonna be building walls already though. Man, that's so annoying. I mean, even Indian troops are over here, wild. Completed the armory, go to the aqueduct. And we'll complete that next turn, very nice. Okay, that's right, that's why we want to remove this improvement and then do a chop next turn. I don't think we're building any other aqueducts or dams, so I think we're good. We don't need any more military engineers, except for maybe making roads and railroads and such, but we don't have those. We're not ready to have those yet. And I'm not going to actually declare war on Germany until... Oh, you know what? It would be best we could get move this guy, move him here. And we can get our swordsman back here. That's what we want to do. That way we can take the city. 
And if they build, if they do get walls, we'll have to put a, a catapult there. Right, we're not going to get open borders with uh, Cahokia, so we need to send it to come here. Son, have you seen the reign of God? Right, so America did put Philadelphia here in the Caribbean. We discovered Mitla. Very nice. We're going to conquer Geneva. Mitla would be good. To get some envoys at. We're close to getting a golden age. Foreign city gained independence. That is Bologna. They're losing their loyalty quite quickly though. Probably to Greece. Yes. It'd be cool to like liberate Rome. I'm not going to if we are ever to take that or something, but it would be cool. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely going to take... Greece is definitely going to take that, which means as we take Geneva, oh hey, they get left a spot because they are going to go attack Bologna. <laughs> Boom. Geneva's ours and we keep the city. Now with that in mind, we need, I would say, walls first in case Greece gets real mad at us. It'd be cool if you could do like a peace treaty and say like we can't go to war with each other for a while. Great. Um, Geneva is a great uh, city to grab here. With that, once we kind of have this ready and we get some more catapults just a little bit closer, I think it's time to go to war with Germany and hit Frankfurt. Which is another great city to have. It's really protected from Greece. Um, and then after Frankfurt, we'll probably take Cologne. And if we can take Aachen, we will. Because all these cities are pretty great for us. We've completed the encampment. Let's go ahead and get the barracks online. And then let's trade back with London, I think. That four food would be pretty good. Let's see how, many, how much housing does this city have? Five and nine. To get two food and some production here. Let's go back to London for a little bit. Here we completed the aqueduct. Let's get the... We need one more uh, population. With that in mind, let's go ahead and get uh, our walls online. Let's repair our outer defenses here. The Quadream. We have... Lots of housing, focusing on food. Let's go ahead and get medieval walls. Completed the Royal Navy Dockyard. Let's just go ahead and... Let's work on outer defenses and purchase the lighthouse. And with it, let's purchase a trader. And trade probably directly from here again to focus on growth. Plymouth, completed a builder, let's, yeah, focus on medieval walls, and let's send that builder directly this down here. You get a lot of lumber mills and stuff in this area, that'd be really nice. Among other things we can improve. If we could steal Bologna, that'd be great. We wouldn't be able to hold on to it unless we take Frankfurt pretty quickly, though. And again, we're going to do a chop here. Um, we don't need to send this guy anywhere, but we're not doing any... Let's see. Yeah, we're not doing any um, harvesting in Amsterdam, so it's, he's kind of not doing anything there. We could send him somewhere we are going to harvest a bit. And that's probably going to be Harlem. Let's go ahead and harvest that production out. 
and then we can work on the aqueduct. Boost its production and go back to the Watt, which will also, also give us a little bit of air score. He's got two builds left, so let's wait. Where's this guy going? He's going here. That's who it was. So let's send this guy here to do that repair. A galley. Let's just, yeah, kind of get them stationed in places where they'll be useful. Be a nice free settler. Yosemite Ooh, Valley to me. Beautiful. And here is the Netherlands. Or here is Aztecs. Again, the Pacific Ocean is just way too small for my liking on this map. But overall, the map's been great. Um, but it looks like they maybe just made Japan probably way too big. Um, in order to make it a bit more playable, which makes sense. Like I'm sure they, uh, there's a good reason to do that. The Pacific Ocean should be pretty massive, and I'm sure it is. If you, there's bigger maps of Earth, but it said they would crash in the late game, and that there's a good chance of them crashing, and obviously I didn't want that to happen. So, uh, where are the Aztecs? Are we still denounced by them? I mean, we can't get open borders. Unfortunate. With that in mind. I might as well send him up to here to just kind of well, continue to scout out everything. Perfect. That means in five turns we can do a formal war on Germany, whose empire is rapidly shrinking, having lost their two most southern cities. Okay, Greece denounced us too, so we can expect war with Greece. Yeah, we definitely need that online. A trader actually in Geneva would have been a really good idea. Next time we do this scenario, I'm going to make a mod that lets me just turn off all those warnings. And only if it's something I need to see, like a announcement. Let them show it up. Because there's just so many AIs in the game. Now we could go attack Bologna, but again, I don't think we'd be able to hold it. But they do have some really, really nice stuff. We'll specifically have a harbor. It's a nice, nicely located city. Being having been denounced by Germany, we can't put our troops there anymore. Hmm. Tunnel here would be nice. Actually, let's put him here, put him there, put him there, put him there. And that's pretty solid defenses for now. And let's do a chop. Oh, I should have switched to Geneva there. Dang it. That would have been much, much better. But it's okay. We have our catapults pretty much close enough that we can... They're almost close enough to be able to do stuff. I was where are we going to position them? We'd, we'd like to avoid Cologne, so we can't have any right here. Not right here, I guess. So we really only have these two at a time. We almost need to wait till we get Bombards with a 64 defensive strength. It's significantly stronger than some of the other cities we've gone against. Yeah, it'll, it'll do some damage. We'll have to wear it down. Increase trade route capacity. I thought, yeah, we already purchased it and used it, so we can purchase the water mill, though, and that'll boost the production a bit. Repair the outer defenses. Let's go ahead and get... I guess uh, a synagogue. And I was going to use that trader there, but I think it's more valuable in Geneva for now. Let's get the workshop up. And let's go back to the aqueduct. Let's delete this pin that's in our way now. 
and boost the aqueduct's production and then go back to another district probably like an industrial zone And here, once we get medieval walls, I think it's worth, theoretically it might be worth to get another military engineer. Tree production in other cities, right? And then get another, some more districts here in that city. Soon we'll be able to get universities everywhere and we need to crank them out immediately. And again, we are pretty close to getting a uh, golden age. It'd be really, really nice. What a waste of them settling that city in the snow, because we're just going to raise it, I'm sure. I, I see no point in keeping it. Even with some of the, the food resources, it's just in this city's way. Now, these are some uninhabited islands. Minus 20, but we'll see if there's anything a little bit further out that might be a little better. Hey, that's... Is this the Cree? That's definitely an Aztec city. So they must have gone to war with the Cree. In fact, they are at war with the Cree and America. So the Americas is almost as torn up as Europe seems to be. Good to know. Something to consider... is if we were to go to war with Greece, we would want ships down here in the Mediterranean. Though we don't have that big of a fleet right now. <laughs> Building some quadrimes with the idea of upgrading them is not a bad idea. We might want to double check and make sure they upgrade the frigates. I'm pretty sure they do. Probably could have traded that iron, but I just said no because it was Australia. Hmm. Okay. Tomris and the Congo. Let's make a friendship here. They're friends with everybody. Oops. And Scythia. Let's see, three turns till that is destroyed. Let's make sure quadrains. Upgrades to forget, yeah. So we're good to get them. Got the uh, walls here. Let's go ahead and get the... Let's purchase the lighthouse. And let's purchase another trader here at Geneva. This needs a bit more production, so I'm going to take one of these tiles. And let's get... A campus up would be great. Right here is not bad. Hmm. Just debating what's, what's going to be better here. I think campuses in general are going to be better, right? We can get it powered. We can get a lot of science out of the buildings inside the campuses. But that means that city's going to grow a lot slower. We definitely probably want some traders there. Okay, we completed the ancient walls here in The Hague. We can't get the industrial zone until we get one more population, which is going to take a little bit. Getting the temple, though, will be really nice. It'll give us more food. Might as well grab that. Actually, he's not using it, so. Never mind. Looks like Greece is content to let Bologna flip. 
not trying to take it, which is, I mean, that's the smart thing to do, but usually the AI is pretty stupid, so. We kind of need bombards to really take this out quickly. That's going to take forever to get bombards. Okay, so who could we trade with where we could get more food and growth? Probably London would be good. It's probably the best option for now. As we're focusing on growth and stuff here, that's probably the best option. You know, the way this is, we might just have to hit Cologne and Frankfurt at the same time. We'll see. All right, let's boost the aqueduct again. And go back to the industrial zone. London is good enough to build its, its industrial zone now. So let's, oh well, we are trading with uh, the 20 gold per turn. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll repeat that. That's one of our best trade routes. Improved fish, he's got one improvement left. Could build a mine, I guess. I would have preferred to buy that tile, which is why we're gonna raise the city in just a few turns. So we'll just use that builder for that improvement soon. Oh, hey, we, have, we found some islands. Maybe we can settle them. How great would that be? No, no demands. <sighs> Germany has been targeted by, for a declaration of war by Babylon. Nubia is trading with Russia. We get another trade route, but we already, I think, filled that slot, didn't we? Completed walls. Yeah, we can't build another one, so we're full. We can get another district here. Uh, a theater square is not a bad idea. An encampment is not a bad idea. Even getting walls isn't bad. We can need something like a, cult a theater square just to get some like culture going to kind of boost how much culture reading per turn because it's just not that much. Reading what? 93 more than a lot of the ai but not enough to really be dominating now in seven turns we can get the university up finally um amenities are definitely hurting in fact getting an entertainment district with these could, these could all put some water those water parks in the water here though which would be even better we might want to get that uh let's see let's, let's double check our resources that's probably what we want to do not that one global resources it's really only one with niter and we probably gave niter to him so don't have marble don't have coffee don't have tea there's only literally wow some of these resources are sparse Ivory don't have, tobacco don't have. Mercury we do, truffles we do, gypsum we do. Jade we do not, but they all only have one copy. Salt we have two copies, that's foolish. Olives we have one that we got from trade. Citrus we don't have any, furs I know we have some, wine we have some, diamonds we have plenty. Amber we have plenty, pearls we have plenty. So everything we would need, we just can't get. So yeah, getting more entertainment complexes are probably pretty good. Where was I building that other one? 
right here. So I'd want to build it further north. Maybe on this 2-2 two -two tile. Or even this pasture. Pastures really aren't that great. Let's do that. Let's get the medieval walls online here. Doesn't hurt. Now Germany does have knights. How'd they get there? Well, some people are just way behind. I guess they got defeated, so. Sorry, he's in the game. They're behind them. They just have a settler, I'm pretty sure. Oh, knights are right here. Knights would be good. Knights would not be bad. But wow, musketmen would be even better. I'm gonna grab this, and then we're gonna go towards mass production. Or we could go towards Bombard. The problem is we really just need frigates. Because we can get our special ship. Ship of the line or whatever. Actually, no, that was Civ 5. This is Sea Dogs, that's right. And we can get red coats. Red coats will be awesome. So. Long ways to go before then. We might have to wait to take out Germany. They have some pretty strong defenses, it looks like. Hmm. He's got one build charge left. debating go to war wait I mean it doesn't hurt to go to war and see what happens they've denounced us we can go to formal war they have very few troops except for the knights the knights will do a decent amount of damage though we are behind scientifically militarily just a little bit a lot of medieval units right instead of um, what we have in general, we're at, the, we're at the pack, and as we get our universities online, it should help a lot. Start to pull ahead. Hopefully. One turn away from finishing that aqueduct. We'll go ahead and finish it, and then we'll... Actually, no, we'll go right back to... Um, Industrial zone, and we'll use this military engineer to come finish it. Hmm. I mean, we could definitely start to wear them down. But if they have more than one knight, I mean, if they have a few knights, right, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Luckily, they're at war with pretty much the whole world. So, what we should do is go to someone who's at war with them, who's not Greece, I guess. Scythia, India. India is probably pretty wealthy. They don't like us. They're at war with Russia. If we were to join their ongoing war with a formal war, hmm. one gold. Hmm. Okay, so they don't care about that. If I go to Greece, though. We can't even negotiate because they've denounced me. That's right. Actually, could they give me one of these? Yeah, I don't care about it. Um, who else are they at war with? Norway. Norway could give us some stuff. We're unfriendly, but you know they don't have any gold, and they're losing gold. So yeah, not gonna not gonna happen with them. Egypt. And India, probably the best to go to. Let's go to India. Just kidding, we can't because we've been denounced by them. I did not know you can trade like that. If we join the ongoing war with a formal war, what would you give me? Again, one gold. Well, I guess it's better than nothing, right? 
Um, Scythia? Scythia and our friends. They might give us more. Let's see what that emergency is. Do we join the emergency? Oh, it's over anyways. Well, we'll take the gold, I guess, for one, and we'll and we'll start a formal war. It's better than nothing. And they're getting campuses online. Universities. In fact, is that already done? No, it has, like, the construction around it, so it'll be done soon. Oh, was that pillaged? It was. Where's that builder? Go there. Actually, yeah, we could have used this builder, but that's fine. I'm gonna hold this uh, crossbow in here just for a little bit, see if these knights come down. Never mind, you go back to where you were going. Hmm. I don't want to get too far ahead. Got a builder here. Wasn't I going to chop something? I don't remember. I don't know if that needs to be repaired. We are already trading with London. So now trading with something a bit more positive. Greece wouldn't be bad. Nothing's great there though. Moreau's not bad. Could trade there, but it could be pillaged here in Germany too easily. If we trade with a cod, we get a Envoy there, which is, you know, it's nice, but it's nothing special. We're not really going for them. The Congo is probably our best bet. Get some, getting a little bit of everything. We complete the ancient walls in two turns. Put them on automatic expiration again. It's only minus 14 if we were to settle all the way over here. Though this is by far the much better spot. However, if we had that second settler, we could put one here and then one here. As well as one here. And have the Caribbean. So, with that in mind... I can't believe we lost that dang settler. Um, and I don't think we have any others. Since I was... Nice, I settled one here. And yeah... Pretty sure we're out. We'd have to build settlers and wherever this guy's gonna be. And that's actually not bad. We have a few places that are just not really building anything. That's gonna take way too long to build a settler there though. We'd probably build them in the capital and that's gonna be a few turns. As we get the uh, Grand Master's Chapel built and then an industrial zone. In fact, let's just lock in the price right there. And then let's finish the Grand Master. Actually, we're not in a rush to get the Grand Master's Chapel out. So let's let's um get the industrial zone first. And then finish the chapel and then do that. With that in mind, is there anywhere else that could build a settler relatively fast? Paris. So let's reassign Magnus to Paris. Paris, 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 Paris. With the intent of building a couple settlers so that we could hopefully maybe settle a couple places here and let's explore a bit with that with these guys and i'm pretty confident this is going to be a new continent better be yeah it's the americas so we're good there north america probably 
I'm still two turns away from rebelling, so we're just going to put this guy on sleep. Alright, so they brought knights forward, obviously. That is unfortunate. Luckily, we didn't lose the catapult. Yeah, we'll trade horses. Oops. My, how the turntables, Germany. Was you attacking England in real life, and now... You are suffering from England conquering you. Oh, thank you, Teddy. Yeah, I bet it's been broken. Our pledge to uh, remove our troops has been broken. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, so if. Hmm. That does a lot of damage. I want to heal them up. This guy can move after, or he can attack after moving, that's right. But I don't really want to take damage, so I'm just going to kind of put everybody on defensive and make them come to us, which the AI usually does. Having completed the barracks, the best thing to get here is either more builders, which we're going to let other cities get. Instead, we don't really need an aqueduct, but we need an armory would be nice. This is the builder, okay. Yeah, we'll do a trade there. Oh, so there's even better places to settle over here. Let's come check this out first. Because we could maybe settle here, along this island. Maybe we can get a couple cities there. Um, still can't do open borders with the Aztecs, unfortunately. They attacked with their knights, that's what we wanted. Uphill across a river, that's about as good of an attack we can get. So, it looks like there's another free city. In fact, Norway lost two cities in one turn, that's terrible. Germany's grown a bit to the north, but they've lost their two cities to the south, so... Overall, they're weaker. Okay, 50% fewer. Me. Double points towards great people. Uh, let's take great scientist. <laughs> so many votes. So many votes. Okay, so no one's going to earn, earn great writers. That's something I'm very happy with. And Germany earns double grievances. That's great. We're hurting on amenities. And most everything's content though, so that's good enough. Let's take the free shot and eliminate that knight. And we are so close to getting the kill. And I'm tempted to take him out with this uh, swordsman. And then we'll move this guy forward once we have all of our uh, catapults going. We got at least two at a time, right? To these two spots where they can't be hit by these cities. And they can damage Frankfurt together. So we completed this military engineer. Let's send him to complete this aqueduct. With that in mind, we need to uh, build more stuff here. And in five turns, of course, we get the uh, education completed. With that in mind, a commercial hubs isn't a bad idea. Neither is another entertainment complex. We have plenty of housing, so we can just get rid of that. It's probably the best thing to get rid of. Just debating if we want to do the commercial hub, though. 
we did, we put, we'd put it here. I think it's plus three, which is pretty dang good. I think amenities are just a bit better. Ooh, we, well, that's fine. It's going to be forever until we can do the water parks, so we can do and we can do plenty of them with the English cities. Having completed the entertainment complex in Paris in three turns, we get. Um, in fact, let's just purchase a arena. Now it's a plus one, and we get we can work on the settlers instead. In Geneva, now that we've got the walls up, let's repair all these. No need for an aqueduct there, I don't think. Um, it'd be great if we could repair that. Okay, so this city has now fallen, and I don't even want to, to take it over. I just want to defeat it. I don't want to wait for it to flip, I mean, because I want to raise it to the ground. Stupid Norway. Seven girls were chased Ooh. by bears. The bear. Try didn't level up, but we are so close with three error score away. And hopefully it's closer to 54 turns instead of 14, and we should be able to get enough. That's a grassland hill. Who owns it? It's Harlem that does. Is there a more advantageous place to chop? Probably this city. But it can't Okay, get that, so maybe the ha the Hague? Mm, doesn't have anything to build besides the temple, except for maybe walls and the Watt. Yeah, let's chop that. You can build the wall, that'll give us air score and more science. Nope, we're not going to trade with you for that Aztecs. Nope, nope, nope. First, Norway didn't like settle these out here way early on. They could go into the oceans. At least I think. Same with the Mali. Like, what are they doing? Okay. Thank you, Teddy Roosevelt. You can denounce me. We'll be best friends later. Probably not, actually. Oh, nice. Okay, so how could we do this? I think we maybe, if we settled, um, we could settle maybe on the, on this right here, but if we did that, Problem is we don't know, it'd be one, two, three, four. We'd have to have one more tile of land here to settle this island as well. But if I settled here, we could definitely one, two, three, four, settle on this tile if we wanted. And then we could put the campus here. Hmm, but if we put the campus here, we couldn't have it next to the Royal Navy dockyard. And if we want a great Royal Navy dockyard, this is the place to settle. So we'd put it in the wrong, or right here. It's really hard to know. I'll probably separate and put the archer here to try and scout out and see if we can see more. But if we settled in one of these three spots, we can definitely settle here. And if we settle here, then we could actually go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. If we wanted, as well as another city here. So we could have four. One, two, three, four, five, maybe five cities if we settled on the rice. Or, yeah, the rice. Which would be pretty cool. Alright, so we have warriors coming. That's obviously annoying. Um, we might as well just eliminate them real fast. Um... But we need to take this within eight turns as well. With that in mind, we'll move him back this next turn and put another galley forward. Having completed, what did we complete? I don't know if it said. But we oh the campus. That's because there was stuff. There was a guy on it. Okay, so we get two envoys now. 
finally, Cahokia would be good to go with. We definitely want to go with the Muscat first, because we get two gold in every lighthouse, and then we want to go with Mitla to get science in all of our libraries. this in mind, we're going to wait one more turn, and we're going to pillage to take the, to heal up our swordsman. And we need to move crossbows forward. I think that's good. I guess that didn't really help to move that swordsman back and forth. Repeat around, yeah. This scout is pretty much trapped. Can we get open borders? Probably not. We're denounced by like the whole world. Oh, I forgot about this galley. <laughs> That's just been chilling here for a thousand years or more. It's what, 11, 12 AD? So we're in the. We're, we're going straight through the medieval era, essentially. Everyone hates them. So now they can continue to explore. But I want them to get, be able to come this way and we're never gonna have open borders with these sieves. Scythia though, they could come that, that, this direction. Go ahead and go next turn. Three improvements to do. Um, for 30 turns, it's not great. Again, I would prefer your Mercury just to make sure we lock that in. And once this is the London, uh, London's done with its buildings, maybe we'll send Magnus back to build uh, settlers there, since it's such a such a, a big boost of production towards settlers. If we could take him out. If we don't, there's a chance that the Vikings will claim that city again, which would be super annoying. I think we get it. Let's see, it'll do. Doesn't tell us about how many how much damage, but. I think we get it this turn. Let's take the risk. Haha! -ha. Race. Okay, beautiful. So much uh, annoyingness that I had to deal with for that. Okay, so now we can move this guy here. And we can see Frankfurt. We can move this guy forward as well. That's pretty much what we have to do. are hurting again. We might have had lost some resources. I 
Got a reading two Mercury. We aren't getting Jade. No one can give it to us though. We still have Sol and Gypsum and then we don't have Olives. That's something we lost. Oh, and uh, Congo has two Citrus. So this is the perfect time to go trade. So we want to go to America. And we want your Olives and we will give you Amber. What if I gave you some iron? Okay, and then we want to go to the Congo. Where are the Congo? In the Congo. Nope, that's the Aztecs. There he is. We want citrus, and we will happily give you wine. Orange juice for grape juice. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. So that catapult might get hurt, obviously, but not much we can do about it. There's the Petra, but that's a dang good Petra too. All right, so I want to split this. Yeah, we can't see. It's debatable what's going to be best, but I say the best is going to be rice. The chance there's a risk though that we can't put a city here. But we could still put two cities over here and one here. At least right there. And we of course lose the rice and some harvesting, but we would get a better um, port right here. And a better campus next to the mountain. So. Well, now we know. This settler can see a little further. Looks like that's the end of land. Unless there's one here, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Which means... If we settled here, we kind of lose out. So you know what? Maybe we do settle right here. Maybe we settle there. Here. Debatable if this is all worth it, of course, but but with that we'd get to settle maybe right here, like right there, right here. Probably right there, and then about right here. I think that's probably the best option. Alternative, of course, is to oops, settle um, right here and instead don't settle this city. Um, and instead put two cities here, but this doesn't have that much, and I think this is just better overall. Oh, we met Babylon. We could see Babylon. How did we not meet them before? Weird. Um, two centuries, great work. Yeah, we're not gonna really use that. Uh, Mitla's, we're not gonna use either. This is in Bros, but we're gonna put our envoys into them from now on. Speaking of that, we do want to, if we construct the theater square, theater square, we get a free envoy here. Actually, probably best if we send her to Mitla. We still have Lisbon, and we have the envoys are getting all the bonuses since we don't have banks or shipyards yet, and we'll get science in the theater square buildings, or in the uh, libraries, extra science. Now we can go next turn. They of course damage our catapult. Very annoying. And wow. Russia took Hamburg. Now there looks like they might lose it. They might be able to keep it. It's only 15, it's going down only to 15 turn by in 15 turns, so. But that does mean we are more capable to take them out. Let's take the fighting against naval units.
Now, if he does hit that guy there, he'll stay there, which is what we don't want, because he would get hit by both of these encampments. We don't want to lose this catapult, of course. Now, we could uh, pillage for faith, so we could take the kill with the catapult. However, if we don't kill him, we'd rather have him get hit by pikemen, by spearmen, than knights. So I think we continue to work on Frankfurt and hope that he survives. Okay, Plymouth, 14 turns away. It was trading with Cardiff, Cardiff. From, we're gonna, I think say, I think we're going to hold on to him, actually, so that we can trade with this city that we're about to build. So yeah, let's say... Next turn. Okay, whew, catapult survived. Very nice. Pierce, he's going to keep that knight in there anyways to, help, yeah, to defend the city. Mongol, you need more horses. And their capital's under siege. Wow, yeah, uh, Germany's in a rough spot. Okay, so I can now... We need to get these swordsmen out of the way. Did I never repair those dang sheep? I forgot about them. All right, and now I need to move this guy out of the way. I need to put this guy essentially back here. I need to put this guy essentially back there then. I need to put this guy here, but first let's bring these archers up and shoot the walls. Completed walls. No reason to get another, or an aqueduct, I don't think. I have plenty of housing. So let's work on campus research projects. Completed the entertainment. Let's grab an arena. Now, let's settle this city. It's our first settlement in America. that in mind, let's go to Royal Navy Dockyard. Actually, no, let's purchase a granary, a mill, and the monument. And now let's get a Royal Navy Dockyard. And I think this plus four is the best, just because of yeah, what we gotta do. And that'll still be an okay campus. And we're gonna probably harvest the marsh and then put a farm down there. And we're going to send this trader to Sunderland. Now I need to remember to go repair or harvest the sheep is fine too. Grassland Hills. Right, 
they attack the catapult, that's fine for now. It's gonna take time, but we can continue to work on Frankfurt. And if Russia is just throwing troops at it, even better. Okay, making some good trades. Holy moly, a category four hurricane. Look at that monstrosity. Where is that? Well, the purpose coast. of education. Okay, so now's the real thing that's happening. We need to get some universities everywhere. So let's start queuing them up. Every city that has a campus immediately switches to a university. Or does it after they complete what they are working on. They completed the industrial zone, very nice. We're gonna actually add, finish the aqueduct because it's basically done, and then we'll grab the university. Geneva, let's repair the library. Paris, let's uh, queue up the university, and then we'll go back to settlers, and we'll get a couple of them. Looks like we get free traders. We can trade with America now, I bet. Let's go ahead and trade with Washington. And we now have 11 of 13. Let's, at the end of the turn, let's make sure we get those settlers. We're one away. We should be able to get that error score. Now we want to get mass production. So we get shipyards. It's going to be very, very valuable. And hopefully tell us where these dang frigates are. It's too bad they're far away. We'd also, oh, this cartography is also going to be just phenomenal. Looks like we just need military tactics. Uh, let's grab the university. Uh, let's grab the university. University. Well, the production of some of these cities is atrocious. reason to keep focusing on food in London. That's probably better. At least while we get the campus online and then let's get the campus here or a university. I say campus but I mean university. And yeah, we'll just keep this uh, archer. Let's put him over here. We can see a little better. We got a fr uh, builder completed. Let's make sure we're not missing any improvements here. That's also the fun thing is you basically can do improve everything in this mode, which is pretty fun. Okay, so we need, what, two more trade routes? Looks like maybe we can only do one more. Plymouth, no. Let's start focusing on gold again. Calcutta is not bad, 19. Eighteen from Lisbon. Babylon doesn't even give us science per turn, that's kinda weird. Twenty-two from New Orleans. Once we get plus two gold for all these sea resources, our gold is gonna go significantly through the roof, essentially. Just got one improvement left. Let's build a lumber mill over here. To 
So using this guy to scout. Ooh, actually it might be a great place for a campus right here. One, two, three, it's too far. Oh, we're gonna build a city here. Ooh. But that would be a phenomenal campus, dang. All right, so let's harvest the marsh. And then we'll put a farm on the rice. We're gonna continue to scout out these islands. We definitely wanna build one here, probably next, to be honest. Ooh, negative 19, we'll see. And that boosted, I might have boosted both. Not sure, but that definitely boosted and completed the aqueduct, which is really nice. And I don't think we're building anything anywhere else that this guy can really help with. Not yet, anyways. We'll see if we can use him next turn. They keep sending delegations. I, I don't know why. Hey, we're starting to get on friendly side of the Khmer. That's nice. I don't know what they're doing, but they just wrecked that city. Who declared war on Lisbon? Refuse. Cleopatra. I am not happy about that. And they got grievances. So we are going to get a golden age. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, let's position our troops in a way that makes it much harder for them to take the city. And then let's also grab the settler. Oh man, it's taking 30 turns to get here. Still has enough health, I think, to shoot one or two more times. And as we continue to get these guys healed up. Build a road, we have no don't have railroads yet. They can't be used, I don't think, for harbors. I think it's just the non-specialty districts. So, tunnels would be good here once we can do those. It's going to be a while, so we're probably just going to put him in the city and put him to sleep until we can use him. Let's build the farm, give him some housing, and no food. And then use the last improvement for the pearls. And let's trade with New Orleans, I think. Or, well, we could go to London, actually, for some more food and production. Just for a little bit. Ooh, another atoll there. Whatever that's called. A barbarian builder. Okay, now I've repaired the dang sheep. And I can send this builder south. Might be time to pull him back now. We have to watch out for this knight they've got now. It could come down and try and attack this catapult, which would not be fun. Look, we have other cavalry in the way. Now we want this area to end much sooner, now that we've reached the right point. Wow, this is like, it's like World War II, but without Germany being a absolute a-hole because it's Russia and then England running towards the middle and they've beat us to the German capital just too bad because I mean they have a much easier way that all these defenses are to the middle of the German Empire which is really annoying for us but it's too bad we can't maybe get if we can get this someone there to take that city fast that'd be awesome probably couldn't hold it for very long I think we can survive another hit here. I'm gonna risk it. I'm also really tempted to um I don't really there's not really any way I can get this guy very close.
I can start moving him that direction though, and we can try it. Let's repair the university. Really nice thing. Uh, we don't have to rebuild it. And let's continue to build mines and stuff here. Let's make sure we're getting at least one of those. Yeah, it's actually doing fine. And we met the Inca. Okay, so here they are. Where the heck is that? I guess that's South America. Okay, because Central comes down here. They must have all of South America. I bet we... Uh, let's see if we've met every sieve. Yeah, we have. Oh no, one more. So that's probably Brazil. It's gotta be. Another island here. not going to go to war with them anytime soon, so might as well declare friendship. Get open borders from them. Same thing with, who else was friendly? Norway. I don't really see the point of being friends with them. Egypt, uh, again, they are going to war with Lisbon. I might have to go to war with them if we need to defend Lisbon. So I'm not going to declare friends with, friendship with them. Luckily, they don't have too many troops over here. Though, Lisbon is... A bit vulnerable. Okay, uh, where, where the heck was this builder going? Probably down here, and someone just got in their way. So they sent the knights out, that's a problem. Uh -huh. Hawken is under siege again. Yeah. I'm surprised they're not sending their knights back to clear out whoever's there. Because they're about to lose that capital. <laughs> yeah, I accept that deal. Oh yeah, they're going to lose it probably next turn. We gotta pull these catapults back, most likely. Although he does have a promotion. Shoot the knights. I'm probably gonna pull this guy back as well. And probably move this guy forward to pillage actually just to get some because there's a chance we might not get this city at least not for a while let's bring this guy back and heal him send forward i think this archer who eliminates that guy and then we can bring this guy back We can heal up all our catapults. Okay, we can get the library. Let's just go ahead and purchase it rather than waste time. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and purchase the university here too because it's going to take a long time. With that in mind, now we can just build like walls. And let's improve uh, the pearls. Um, we can come, we can even explore down this coast. Beautiful, beautiful. So we lame, I can't con like take them because they're just in the ocean. A few more turns here, I think. All right, so Aachen is no longer under siege. Our soldiers, our swordsmen didn't take much damage. Ooh, 
the Inca are not friendly. We should have got open borders to them before they had the chance to denounce us. And Germany lost that city to Russia. Though Russia's going to lose it in six turns, it looks like. And they're going to lose Hamburg. Oh, well, someone proposed that deal, so... I wonder if you can see who did it. I don't think you can. But I hope it fails. Because if it passes, we're going to have to probably abandon this whole German campaign. And just go to defense. Defensive mode. Aha, it failed. Germany voted against it despite us being at war. That seems odd. Even Gandhi voted against it. Pericles voted against it. Created. For it was Japan and Russia. Oh man, a war with Russia now would not be fun. So they're going to go... It's going to become a free city without walls soon. Hamburg too. Maybe we can take it. We'd have to finish off Frankfurt pretty quickly. With that in mind though, we've got it under siege now, so I'm just going to kind of lock in this uh Still under siege here, but this way he could pillage for food if he needed to. Oops. We use our crossbows for now to deal more damage. Denounced by wow, well, we have we made a lot more friends. Nope, not them. Things are starting to flip of who's friends with who, I think. At least with us. Oops. Still have hundreds of turns to go. Oh man, the Inca, 527 science per turn. That's, I just don't know if we can keep up with them. 28 research, we're down by four. Getting our universities online is gonna help, but wow, that is just insane. They probably have all of South America, essentially. Yeah, I'm not sure we can beat them unless we just completely destroy them eventually. Which I'm not opposed to doing, so. <laughs> uh, where's this guy going? He's going across the world. Is that really the fastest way? Through a war zone? <laughs> We're only at war with Germany, so it should be relatively safe. Go next turn. No, we're not making peace. We're going to take Frankfurt. Duh. I guess if we could get Frankfurt for free, open borders. I don't want to give you open borders. And... I guess I can make that deal. Yeah, and I'll give you the iron. They'll rebel again. Sure. Oh wow, they had so many resources. Thanks to South America. Let's definitely trade with them. Gained independence. Uh, where are my troops that are? Oh, just right here. They can already go into the oceans too.
completed the campus. Let's purchase the library there and the university. And then let's get... Hmm... Honestly, a theater square is not a bad idea. We could use some extra culture. Now, if we can get Frankfurt for free, let's see if they're willing to make that trade. If we make peace, would you give us Frankfurt? And what if we give you all our gold? Never mind. They're not willing at all. And let's see, yeah, I grab the lumber mill. They have a lot. How big is their army, too? Pretty big. They haven't met many people, though. Look at that. Almost no one. Alright, so they have citrus, they have pearls, they have spices and citrus. Just get some extra. Get some extra resources from them. Don't mind if I do. Now we'll pillage with the swordsman to get to it. Oh, why do you, yeah, we don't even want the farm there. There's horses. And iron. Great place for the rural valley here, probably. Even as the aqueduct already, this is a really nice city. But these aqueducts, this is making a great industrial zone too. the settlers here. Getting two more of them, which is great. I don't remember where our current settler is. He was going this way. Oh boy, did we already lose him? I don't know. Not that. Search set settler. Three, one, two. Oh, that's there he is. Okay. Okay, so he knows where he's going. It might have been worth waiting until we had the uh, could cross oceans, but it's good enough. Okay, so we've completed repairs. You get a Royal Navy Dockyard now would be really nice. We get the plus one here. Not bad. Let's pillage for health. Um, I can... Bring that soldier back. What do you mean you can't shoot? I thought this guy, oh, this guy doesn't have the promotion. Okay, I thought he did, but it's this guy that does. And we're just gonna heal up to full health, I think. And then trade with one of them, probably. Man, we are close to taking Frankfurt. Very close. We still we can't get open borders with these guys, unfortunately. 
Are we at war with Scythia? <laughs> Is that new? Did they just damage our... Our unit? No, they moved. Okay, so it must have been Frankfurt damaging the unit. So this, as I say, Scythia's our friends. Ooh, the Kree are now becoming friendly. The Kree Empire. Okay, let's go ahead and get open borders with them. He wants to clear friendship. What if there's anyone even close to winning like religion? Egypt has 47 converted cities, but it's not even close. Eh. Okay, we completed the Royal Navy dockyard here. And we can get a campus. Yeah, plus one in both of those spots. We could instead get a builder to do some improvements, which would be pretty handy. We could actually get settlers here. Ooh. Let's do that. Let's reassign him to Sunderland. And let's quit working on the settler in this city. Not worth it. Takes way too long. Instead, let's grab settlers here. It's going to take a little long as well, but we could also purchase them. So that's just where we'll spend our gold. I don't even know why I didn't think about that earlier. Let's just buy settlers. <laughs> um, and with that, I'd also like to get a builder. a lot of gold for uh, three build improvements. We need to do chops and stuff. Hmm, instead, let's get walls up. Come on, India. Move your people. I don't like them. We're gonna pretty much take that next turn, so I might as well move this guy here where he can then move and hit Cologne next turn. We'll go next turn. The settler, let's see, we probably don't have open borders with Greece anymore. Oh yeah, we do. Settler's just confused, I guess. We might just have to buy only set buy settlers. In, in the meantime, just have this guy wait until we can get across the ocean. Give me Frankfurt. Okay, see? He destroyed a catapult. I did not expect that. It's because of these dang knights. I'm not happy with them. I did not want to lose another catapult. Luckily, we still have a few more down here, which we'll do fine. Kill a unit with a spearman. Yeah, that'll never happen. All right, we should see our science yet. Up to 215. Very good. We're still in the middle of the pack. We're getting 216 per turn, 24 research. It's not quite 530 per turn, but it's not bad. Alright, we can move here and then shoot at Cologne. And then we can hit Cologne for this guy. We can hit him twice here. Actually, let's hit the catapult first, and then again with these archers. We can't quite take it with the swordsman yet. Amenities are hurting again. We have increased trade route capacity, which I thought we filled already. Completed the university. Now we can go back to the Grandmaster's Chapel. And we could get a courser, but I don't see why we would. 
to work on campus research grants. Although in four turns we can get another district finally and get the Royal Navy Dockyard. And we can get an arena here in Amsterdam. We completed the trader here. Oh no, we could repeat the route. 16 gold. Or we can go to somewhere in America. Get 19. Oh, that's St. Petersburg. That's even better. Or 22. We'll do that with New Orleans. 22 gold. Gold's even better now since we're using it for. Uh, buying the traders, or buying the settlers, I mean. Did he just attack the city across the river with a light cav? Which has medieval walls, my goodness. So, we actually, this would be a great time to move people into Auction. Move our infantry over here after we take Frankfurt. Thank you, Russia, for really assisting us in this war against Germany. Tactics mean doing what you can. Finally. It takes forever to research things in this mode, but it's also what makes it more fun. Boom. Frankfurt is ours. Now we are losing it. Losing it fast. Way faster than I thought we would be. Rebellion in four turns. Am I falling at 13.6? We need... Ugh, we're probably gonna have to send her. We have the gold by... We either have to send her, this guy, or... Him. We don't get to appoint new governors yet. We would have if we got one of those. Hmm. Ka. Now open borders with the Aztecs. Just as we keep the city, okay, so it helps the loyalty a little bit. So we are going to need to put a governor here, though. And what is the who? You know, who do we lose the most? We don't want to lose population buying settlers here in a few turns. Then we can put whoever we send back. I think we send Pingala to Frankfurt. And then we send him back once we're done with Magnus in the new city. That should put it down yet yeah, to 18 turns, giving us time to hopefully claim this city and then wear down Cologne. Completed the university, very, very nice. In Cardiff, or Cardiff, or whatever. How are the things supposed to be said? Let's work on campus research grants, science. Just put that into alert mode. And go next turn. All right, this guy gets a promotion, so we'll take that. We're gonna find this guy's settler wherever it is. Cause he's not a Babylon. He's not a Tyre. I mean, I, where could he even be? Like Babylon should be here. He should have started in this region. Well, Cairo's losing loyalty in their capital. Yeah, they're in a tough. That's a tough starting position. Arabia. Alright, so we defeated that guy, that's great. 
Let's go ahead and move one and take the promotion. Plus one range. We can move from the back now. Move this guy forward. I can move this guy to here, but then he'd be in range of the quadrant. So we're just going to wait one turn. turn then switch places and he can shoot from three away which is just phenomenal we completed the grand master's chapel so let's now get the workshop we're hurting on amenities let's double check our resources see if we're missing anything i've ever missing something like jade incense is there literally one incense in the world we need more we need more of all these resources We've got one copy of everything. Mercury, we have that already. Jade, there's none to go around. Salt, we have some. Dyes, we have plenty, obviously. Olives, we still have some. Spices, we have them. Citrus, wine. Furs, diamonds, pearls, amber. Yeah, we got everything we can. We just have to get more of these arenas out. And we also probably should check our city status. War weariness is only bad in Frankfurt, so... We need more arenas and stuff. That's for sure. Um, completed medieval walls. We probably could do um, local festivities. It's going to generate gold and amenities. Here, let's yeah build the lighthouse. No reason to buy it. Now, we are going to buy settlers here, so... Hmm, what to work on? Probably a builder. Hey, we get our... Oh, that's... I knew we were going to get it soon. Okay. Let's put... Reyna. I think that's the next person to get, because we can use her to buy a districts later. And then let's put her... For now, in Frankfurt. And then let's assign Pingala back to the capital. Definitely an argument to get the general guy and put him in here, but I think that's fine for now what we're doing. Say next turn there. Another night. Who luckily didn't go to our catapult, instead attacked the, our encampment. So that's hilarious. I accept. It's fine. Alright, we'll probably do this turn and we'll probably wrap this episode up. Made a lot of progress. Invading Germany. So he wants wine and dyes. I expect just an extra copy of olives to make sure that lasts long enough. Open borders for niter. Yeah, I don't want to give anybody niter, so refuse. Do I need open borders with this Gandhi? So that ship that's been there for like 2,000 years can move. That eliminates him. We can move these guys and trade spots, and then he can shoot. This guy can't because he moved, but this guy can shoot. And that's our territory, so I can put our knight, our heavy cavalry there. I think, yeah, I'll just leave that catapult there. He's not really in a rush to be used. Let's move our infantry forward. Six turns to go. I want to be able to shoot this city down. Alright, completed the arena. Let's grab the temple. Um, we completed the medieval walls. Let's get another district. One right here. Oh, we have the campus. We could get a commercial hub. That'd be plus three. Could get an entertainment complex. I don't really see that as necessary yet. 
theater square isn't bad. Entertainment complex though is not terrible either. Put it right here though. Okay, now we can complete the armory. We get more envoys. We are going to get shipyards pretty soon, but in the meantime, we want to send our envoy to Babylon. To get science in our libraries. We need two more envoys again. And here, let's yeah, shoot the Cologne, the new German capital. Repair. Oh wait, we didn't want to repair, we wanted to remove that. Alright, we'll wait till next turn and then fix the horses. And let's get a mine here. Okay, I think that's pretty good for this turn now. Lisbon is getting damaged a bit by their uh their catapult, unfortunately. It's too bad you can't like make a deal and ask them to make peace. Right? Like that would be super convenient. Or even a promise, but I promise not to attack my city-state, Lisbon. I do not like the idea of them taking Lisbon, so we might need to put more people over here. In their way. <laughs> we could settle there. That's funny. This is all pretty negative now that we met the Inca, so our next city probably will have to be here, and then one here, and then one there. Alright, well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Can't wait.